Okay, guys, so I got the filter off and got looking down in it, and there it's dry down in there. So, you know, obviously it's not been pumping oil. So what I'm going to do first, I went ahead and put a couple quarts of oil back in it. I'm going to start it up and see if anything is, is coming out of there. It could have been a defective filter, oil filter, I'm not real sure. Okay guys, still no uh, oil being pumped. So what I'm gonna do is remove this this cover. I believe there's a screen in there and see if it's clogged, hopefully. Okay, I've got all these eight millimeter bolts out that go around it. Okay, I've got the foot peg off. I'm gonna try it again. Here's the filter I was talking about. And then the oil pump's right behind it. You can see. Hey. Okay, so here's the oil pump screen. As you can see, it's not there, it's missing. So, get the puller out. Guys, yeah, this little thing's an impact driver. Screws like this, it's a good tool to have to help get them out. Okay, all the screws are out. It's got a, some tabs back here. I'm gonna try to lightly pry on it. So what I found when I got it apart, everything looked pretty good. Uh, besides this, I was had a question on this. Didn't see how the pump could turn, uh, you know, with this loose like that. I mean, it almost feels factory. It feels like it's supposed to be that way. But I took it to an expert in town, and he said, yeah, it, that's broke. And this is keyed, so, you know, that shouldn't have any play in it. And as you can see, the new one, you know, it's lock solid. There's no turning to it. So I elected to go ahead and get the, the new pump also. Uh, this is cheap, actually. Um, this piece, the small piece, is like five bucks. The outer one is seven. And as you can see on the old one, you can see it's got some scar in there. So that's cheap. You know, if you're going to dig into the motor this deep, you might as well, you know, spend the extra couple dollars on this. And this gear, uh, believe it or not, this thing cost about seventy-five bucks. So this is the most expensive part of it. And I also elected to uh, go ahead and put a new screen in here. Uh, this goes on the bottom of the motor. Just slides in. It's like a pre-screen type of setup. That's what it looks like. And it just slides in. And then, of course, got a new gasket. And this gasket was 2168. So. All in all, total parts bill on this is going to be $126.85. And to put this back together, uh, first off, the outer cover is going to go on. 
these you can't order these outer covers anymore so make sure you try not to damage it in the gear and if you can see there's two dots on this these need to be pointing the same side that just slides on like so then it's got a small washer and then one of these clips that'll go on now